chance of dying in 1972 was five times greater than it is today in a car crash. Five times. Five times. That's pretty good. Those odds aren't really. You can see why. And what happened was over the time, through engineering, enforcement, and education, all working together, we were able to drive this number down of the number of cars. The number of cars going through here are incredible compared to what they were when I was going to school. I used to come down here on US 41 in 1952. US 41 was a two-lane road through Tampa. Here's how it dropped. The number. When I was your age, we were up here. It's come all the way down. The question I ask you is, where is it going to be when you're my age? It's 32,000. Where should it be? Where should it be when you are 65 years old? Where should it be? What would your goal be? What's your vision? What? Zero? Zero. That's what your goal should be. Your vision should be zero. And whatever you do, whether you're an actress, whether you're a pharmacist, whatever you're doing, you're an enforcement, you're a human factor, human, human uh, uh, resources. You have a role. You can affect people's lives through you, what you do. So you could, you'll bring this down to zero. Wouldn't that be great? Hey, we brought it down from 55 to 32. You certainly can bring it down to zero. Because you're certainly much smarter than we were. <laughs> to have the opportunities you have. Okay, here's in Florida. Gary was saying, and I always use first names. I never like Mr. Thompson and all that stuff. I never do that. So I'm going to call everybody. The principal I'll probably call the biggest, but Derek I'll probably call Derek. But anyway, that's the way I do it. Because I'm, old, I'm the oldest one here. So I can do that. And here another interruption. What does that mean? Okay. See? In Florida, in 05, there were 3,500 people died. That's a ton of people. Dropped down in just a few years. This is the number of in, in Tampa Bay area, the one that, that Peter and Gary are responsible for. Went down from here to here. That's really high nationally. If you were a state, you have more fatalities in the Tampa Bay area than half of the states in the nation. The Idaho's, the Massachusetts, the Maine's, uh, the, the, um, even Wisconsin. You have a lot of crashes here. So let's, you have an opportunity. One out, one out of 100 kids will die in a car crash. 77 out of 100 are going to be injured. Anybody in a car crash? How many of you drive? Anybody drive? Is it scary? It's not really scary. I mean, I'll be cautious, but not scary. Okay. Well, I'm scared sometimes. So the crashes and all that stuff. One of the things with seatbelt said, and we'll just hit the... No matter where you are in the car, if you're in the car, wear your seatbelt. If you're in the back seat, front seat, in the trunk, wear a seatbelt. Wear a seatbelt. They were just the, the soccer team up in Wisconsin, uh, girls soccer team, varsity soccer team was out doing what girls do at 3 in the morning with the car. And a girl lost control of the car, and three of the girls were ejected from the car and died. This was this weekend. Everybody wear your seatbelt.